A nonprofit government watchdog group called OpenTheBooks.com is taking a closer look right now at government spending. Want to let you know that next week, mm -hmm. a new task force in Nashville will meet to talk about the city's Vision Zero Plan. We talk about that here on Fox 17 News. Yes, I mean, we have long documented here on Fox 17 Vision Zero, which is a plan for Nashville that has the goal of having zero traffic deaths and injuries by the year 2050. That's a tall task. Yes, and it'll cost more than $25 million in the first year alone. Mm -hmm. Here to follow the money in his open, bo open the Books Deputy Editor, Rachel O'Brien. And we have some questions this morning. Yeah, $25 million is a lot of money for one year. Uh, how have you found that money is going to be spent. So as you mentioned, it's to make Nashville's roads safer. So it's going to be spent on, on the streets. Most of it will go to actually engineering roadways. Uh, almost 21 million of that 25 will go to actually improving the roads in various ways. Another 1 million will go to educate the public through an awareness campaign. Another 3 million will go to evaluate the changes, see if there are more that need to be made, and another $250,000 for enforcement. Um, on top of that, there's another $18 million in funding from previous years. The $25 million that we're talking about is for fiscal year 2023. There's another 18 million from previous years that will also be spent on specific projects. They've already been allocated for specific projects. And then there's another 14 million for contingency funds in case there are supply chain issues, prices go up, labor costs go up, that sort of thing. All right, that is a lot of money. Now, Rachel, just wanna uh, you know, talk a little bit about the fact that we've been documenting Vision Zero for, for quite some time, ever since they announced that the plans were coming out. Um, do you, in your findings, think that there's any or maybe too much padding with the money here? So that that question, I the answer is maybe. But the thing that um, has raised maybe some concerns is that, one, it's a very long goal, right? 2050 is the goal for zero deaths. If you look at other cities, and Nashville is one of just close to about 50 cities in the country that are doing this or have done this, um, in, in Metro Nashville's plan, they cite New York City, they cite Denver. Those cities, which they've cited as a sort of... Um, you know, example as to how to implement this, those cities are seeing traffic deaths increase. Um, they've made all of their changes, they've spent their money, they've done their projects, and both Denver and New York City saw um, deaths increase uh, hmm. last year. And so th the question is, is 2050 too far or is it n not far enough? Because it's really a lofty goal to get to zero deaths, unfortunately. Okay. The editor, Rachel O'Brien with Open the Books, thanks so much for speaking with us this Friday morning.